What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Here with you, as always, I am the bearded boy wonder, Dave Bartosiak, and today, my friends, we've got a few things to talk about here. First, the strangle on FedEx, ticker FDX. Now, <laughs> this is this is a perfect example per that shows you why when you have a credit spread like this, you just got to hang in there because these guys, we were short the July 21st, 210-200 put spread and the 210-220 call spread for that devilish net credit of 666. Max profit with FedEx at 210. Now this thing was all over the place. FedEx rallied, got up to like 217 before it came back. Well, now it's down at like 211. The spread is 204 on the call side and 29 cents on the put side, which puts you way firmly into the green here. I don't know how many people were actually holding on to FedEx, but if you were, you are victorious. So that's good. So I say you just close. You're only going to gonna have to close half of this, whichever one is in the money. So right now it looks like the call spread is in the money. So you're going to want to close the call spread into the close, allow the put spread to go ahead and retire, uh, go ahead and expire rather, worthless. So you don't have to do anything on that side. So that's a victory. Then, of course, the bullish put spread on KB Homes. I'm not going to beat the dead horse here. We already know, but this is just falling off, so I just wanted to have it here. We we're short of put spread, nice little net credit. KB rallied and, and we're all good. Now, Micron, we've been holding this and I've been debating on whether or not to keep keep it in the portfolio here. Uh, long the August, this is August 18th, so August expiration, 32.35 call spread for a 116 net debit. Max profit with shares of Micron over $35. Well, right now the spread's at 93 cents with Micron at $32. I think things are moving in the right direction. I think that tech is obviously very strong with a 10th day in the row of the nasdaq rallying up so i think we just go ahead and hang on to micron ticker mu then you have a bullish call spread we had on delta airlines uh, this is the one where i was like yeah just take a pass but I, i'm going to give you a trade that pays uh and the trade that pays i gave was a long august 11th 54 50 56 50 call spread for an 86 cent net debit max profit with delta over 56 50 well, the trades, the trade, uh, the spreads at 33 cents now. I say you just go ahead and take the loss. It stinks, but whatever. For anybody who's still in Delta, don't worry about it. So now the, the bullish call spread here on Bank of America. We were long the August 18th, 24-26 call spread for a 79 cent net debit, max profit with Bank of America over 26 dollars per share. Right now the spreads at 46 cents. Just go ahead and take the loss on this one. This one didn't really work out the way we wanted it to but let's not harp on it. It's just, it is what it is, right? And it's over. Now, with JP Morgan, we had a bullish put spread. So that was short July 21st, 90.87.50 put spread for a 52 cent net credit. Max profit here with shares of JP Morgan over $90 per share. The spread's trading at five cents with JP Morgan over 91. So this is actually a pretty good, spectacular victory. This is the max gain for us. Just let it expire worthless right here. The bullish call spread on Netflix, long the August 18th, 160, 165 call spread for a 235 net debit. Max profit with Netflix over 165. Of course, we talked about this. We were very excited that Netflix is all the way up to 450. I mean, Netflix is up over 183. This call spread over 450. I say you just go ahead and rip this one for a big gain if you haven't already. Qualcomm had a bullish put spread on Qualcomm long the August 18th, 55, 52, 50 put spread for a 66 cent net debit. Max profit with Qualcomm under 52, 50. Well, the spread's at a buck 17. Qualcomm came under pressure, was down 5% today, and they're near $54 per share. So I say, if you haven't ripped it already, catch some drift, because I think you're going to see institutional selling of Qualcomm now that they don't have those Apple earnings inside of their guidance. So, all right, folks, that's all I got for you here with the good, the bad, and the ugly. I will see you all manana bright and early for the morning after. Have a good one.